zones. But into the next 48 hours, that's where we see a deeper batch of moisture across the far southwestern Gulf. That's connected to some tropical moisture straddling Mexico and even the Pacific. So that's going to help to create a broader shield of cloudiness for our region that will eventually lead to higher rain chances. Tonight, no rain, just a few of those scattered clouds every so often through about 7 a.m. We'll get that filtered sunshine effect through the afternoon, so a little dimming of the sunlight, but still enough to warm us up likely back into the 80s as we start to modify this cool air with all the moisture and cloudiness and partial sunshine that will come through. As temperatures lower towards the 60 degree mark on Wednesday, we can reach a moisture level that can cause some sprinkles and showers, but into the Wednesday afternoon through Thursday time frame, that's when a broader fetch of moisture connects with us, and that will bring in higher rain probabilities for us. A couple thunderstorms, too. Steady rain Wednesday evening into Thursday, at least the first half. That leaves us by Friday with a lot more warmth and moisture. So we're not quite done with the warm and humid pattern yet. But before we get to that, we're going to get in on these rain totals that can exceed one to two inches in a broad sense. Some isolated totals can be around two to three inches. This is actually good soaking rain because of increasingly significant drought setup across the Panhandle region in particular, and even around our own tri-state area. Not likely to be a tropical depression or anything like that, so no worries there, but it can maybe cause a little sogginess for your midweek and beyond. Morning lows, upper 40s to around 50. We'll stay clear to mostly clear and then turning partly sunny through the afternoon with highs that will be in the lower to mid 80s. That's near average for our area. For boaters, expect mostly clear conditions tonight, an increase in cloud cover for tomorrow, and seas will start to pick up after we go into the late day hours. Next few days, we highlight those rain chances for Wednesday late, most of Thursday. Couple thunderstorms. If we get a little warmer bump sooner on Thursday, we can see maybe a bit more of a thunderstorm risk, but right now confined to coastal marine areas southeast Big Bend. Diminishing through Friday, another home game for the Seminoles. I do think a front will be pushing through and cause a clearing trend for that day.